A block of mass M is on a horizontal surface and is attached to an ideal spring of spring constant K, as shown in the figure. The block is pulled to the right at distance x max from equilibrium and released from rest. The block passes through its equilibrium position with speed v and kinetic energy k. The block then comes to rest with potential energy u. The same block spring system is moved to a rough surface and the procedure is repeated. Half the energy of the block spring system is dissipated as the block moves to equilibrium and comes to rest a short time later. Which of the following is a correct value for the second setup? The different propositions presented show changes in different parameters for the system. Mass of the block, constant of the spring, etc. However, the only difference between the first and second setup is the presence of a non-conservative force, namely friction. This non-conservative force will decrease the amount of mechanical energy within the system. If the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy at equilibrium under the first setup, where there was no loss of energy, then, under the second setup, you have a total energy at equilibrium of one half the total mechanical energy, or one half K. Therefore, the correct answer is option B.